Oh, this is real close to the edge. This is the Similicon Valley in British Columbia, and uh, this is where I've set up camp for the day and the night. It's perfect timing, the sun is getting lower, and uh, it's time to uh, get some shooting. So I've been playing around with some time lapses up here. I have my camp set up just down there. It's super close. And this is one of those times where having this camper has just been amazing to kind of have as a base camp to be able to play here at night and uh, not have to worry about a place to stay or, or travel somewhere when it's like pitch black up here. So the reason I wanted a high vantage point was first of all it was forecasted that it, it could get clear tonight and uh, I thought getting some dark sky stuff would be interesting because in a few days there's a meteor shower that is peaking in about three days from now and uh, I thought well maybe we'll still be able to see something tonight if we get some clear skies as well. So mostly it was to create with this valley shot, which I better start doing. <laughs> It's like legit snowing up here. It's just the weirdest spring that I've ever seen. If I can walk away with a photo for the print store, that would be amazing. There's a couple of uh, content things that I want to do here as well. All right, the sun is looking great, but the valley is uh, all in shadow, so it's a little, not quite right. So I'm thinking uh, we let the sun go down and then uh, the light will start to balance itself out and a little bit of color in the sky can uh, still save the shot. <laughs> And if you go this way, you can kind of see the sun, but you can see that just it's all, uh, yeah, it's just not very interesting right now. So I've just been waiting and uh, shooting a little bit, but mostly just waiting. But the sky is clearing up. So it could be interesting night for uh, stars. All right, it is cold. And uh, it's getting dark and it's time to uh, kind of get everything settled and figured out for when it gets uh, pitch black out here and uh, be set for hopefully some stars. So I'm gonna go do that. I have spooned all of the juice and now we're just down to nice dry-ish noodles. It's perfect. It is minus two according to my watch. And uh, I think I got a couple shots that I'm pretty happy with. And so uh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, there was some nice highway traffic that created some nice still uh, or motion trail. And the stars were like amazing out there and uh, it was perfect. It cleared up and uh, I'm feeling, feeling pretty happy, but feeling pretty cold. So good night. Why were you and Demetrius on Saturday? There was just so many things going on. I couldn't find a minute to make an appearance over there. Good morning. This is what I got going on for coffee. And uh, it was a freezing night. I hadn't been this cold in a long time. I think it got down to about minus six um, outside, which is like minus three is really good. I didn't really prepare the camper and stuff to have like a uh, you know, close to winter camping conditions. 
I made myself two cups of coffee, which is a norm for me, which is first cup. And then the Yeti keeps this warm if I want coffee in like another seven hours. Last night, it was, uh, as predicted, it was clear. There was a ton of stars out there. The whole sky was just kind of lit up. Uh, I'm gonna finish packing up the uh, camper, get everything mobile again. That's it, I'm gonna finish up this time lapse. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee up here and uh, that's gonna be a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.